Uh, one of the things I think we often assume about divorce settlements, of course, is that there is a pot of money there that's kind of available to be divided up or assets or what have you. But presumably there must be cases where one of the parties is, for example, bankrupt. So what happens then? The difficulty when you're bankrupt is a trustee will be appointed who will then effectively own all of your assets. So you're no longer in possession of any assets to be divided. If you're in the middle of a divorce at that stage, then it can be a real problem because the court doesn't have jurisdiction to get involved and make decisions in the way that they normally would do. This is something where you really will need to have some specialist advice and it could cause a real problem. If there is any possibility of, of bankruptcy within divorce proceedings, it's really important to see lawyers as quickly as possible because there are some things that we can do in order to try and minimise the damage of bankruptcy. I mean, be honest with you, it, it's difficult, but there are steps that can be taken and it is important to discuss that with the lawyer.